What is good, Pillagers and Crusaders? This is Charles from Team COG. Coming at you guys here with a combo breakdown for Infernobles. And uh, I'm going to showcase you guys some pretty interesting combos. I'm going to showcase you an extension of the standard combo that I showed you on the vlog. I'm going to showcase you a hand rip for three. And then I'm going to showcase you how to combo with Colt Wing in your hand. And uh, yeah, so this is like my fifth take, trying, maybe more, trying to do this video. I don't know why. Just been a real struggle. So bear with me. We're just going to kind of just go through it. And yeah, uh, please remember, guys, if you guys want to help support the channel, you can do so by becoming a member or joining the Patreon. Links are down in the description below. Ding that notification bell so you never miss when I go live. I try to live stream once a week, but... Being in the medical field in the middle of a pandemic or when there's a raging virus going on has made me not be able to do that as often as I was like. But if you guys want to watch my live streams, like I said, ding the notification bell and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the combos. Uh, so this first combo, guys, is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be two warriors. It can li literal, literally be any two warriors. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to make it be... There we go. This is all it takes is two warriors. Really easy. You can just special out here, red layer, go here. Make Isolde, Isolde's effect. We'll go ahead and add ourselves Gear Freed, uh, Isolde's effect. We're gonna go ahead and pay the cost of sending two. And uh, we're gonna choose to send Metal Silver and Phoenix Blade. There they are. Send these two to summon out Gimba. We'll go ahead and turn Gimba and the Isolde here into Halky Fibrax. Uh, Halk's effect grabbing us the Despot. Like, I've tried to do this, I've tried to do this combo <laughs> all this, this like, entire video like four or five times and I'm to my wits end with it. So instead of having it all sorted, because I'd have like two or one card misplaced or I'd mix up the combo. So it's just e easier to do it this way. A little bit more time, but you know what? Time is just a fabrication made by man, am I right? So we'll just go ahead and link the Hulk and the Despot into Rordon. Rordon gives us three tokens. Here comes Despot. Go ahead and link off the two tokens. And we'll make our first of our two power tools. Power tool reveals three of either Durandal or DDR, whichever one you want to add first. Uh, for the sake of the video, whatever first one we find, we'll go ahead and add. We'll go ahead and add. There we go. Durandal. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll use Rordon's effect, tributing itself and the power tool, keeping out the token to go ahead and summon from the deck the uh, Colt Wing. Summon out Colt Wing, the brick. Uh, Colt Wing's effect. We get two tokens. Here comes Despot. All right, if you guys are still with me, it's pretty, pretty same, pretty self-explanatory to like the OG combo, which of course, like I said, is on the Draco, the vlog that I showcased. We'll go ahead and make power tool. Uh, this time you're going to reveal DDR. Uh, this is a level seven. So then you go ahead and XYZ up here into Draco Sack. It's very important here that you detach the Mega Phantom Beast, not the power tool, because you're going to get two more tokens right here. And then guess who comes back? Back again. Guess who's back? Despot001. That's who. Uh, we'll go ahead and then turn this right here into Balmug. You'll go ahead and use Draco Sack's effect. Tribute a token to destroy Balmug. Colquine then gets us two more tokens. And guess who it is again? Despot. Right here, right here, right here is where we would start to construct our ending board in the old combo line, right? We'd start to go ahead and do what we did. We have everything we need to put up a semi-decent board. However, instead, we're just going to go ahead and go here and make Riser. Uh, Riser's effect, we'll go ahead and we'll send a red layer from our deck to there, making it a level two. We then turn Riser and the token here into Roland. Go ahead and activate Roland's effect. So during the end phase, you get that awesome recursion. We'll go ahead and we'll link off here for Charles. The man, the myth touches down. Uh, you'll then go DDR, or not, you won't go DDR. You'll go Divine Sword first, banishing the Roland and banishing Balmug to add this guy back to your hand. Uh, you then go DDR, pitching the Divine Sword, summoning back Balmug. Charles sees this equipped happen, so Charles will then destroy the Balmug. Balmug's effect will trigger, summoning back Coltwing. Coltwing then gives us two tokens. And then for the final time, here comes Despot. Now we finally get to start constructing our board. Uh, we'll go ahead and go here for Harold. We'll then go ahead and go Dirindal, Dirindal to destroy itself, to go ahead and add us Renaud. Once we add Renaud, I will then special Renaud to go ahead and add back the DDR. Renaud and the Coltwing, which is level 7, become a level 8. We get to make ourselves Savage. Savage will then equip the Aurorodon, giving it 3 counters. And then we get to banish any two random warriors, so Renaud and the Quantum that we sent off of the uh, Riser. And then we just go ahead and we DDR back Roland and the Token. 
go off and become our final piece of the puzzle, Omega. So off of two cards, guys, we are able to get this. This is practically insane. We're going to hand rip for one, and it's just by changing the combo line that we did in the original combo slightly, very slightly. Instead of committing to that, we're just able to get a whole other like wave of monsters out there. So we're going to be able to hand rip for one, going to have the soft lock, going to have a negate, a negate. It's pretty good. And then the follow-up, we do have like Isolde and access code. So like if they do solve the Draco sack, or we can actually solve the Draco sack itself by tripping itself up to destroy a card, we can then like go Isolde, Isolde, dump, add, then synchro or link off into access code, making it have 4,000. And then you have essentially, you'll have more than enough with the follow-up with this. And plus the roll in in phase add to roll add a Renaud back will be crazy. Uh, so yeah, that is the first combo. Uh, we're going to quickly jump into the second combo, which is going to showcase you how to hand rip three cards out of your opponent's hand by just opening connector plus an extender. And yeah, so let's just jump on into it. Okay, guys, here we go. Connector plus any extender is a hand rip for three. And I'm going to showcase you guys how we do that uh, right now. So you're going to go ahead and normal summon out connector, connector effect. You're going to go ahead and grab yourself the dolphin. There we go. There's dolphin. Go ahead and special summon out the flint lady and then pitch a card from your hand to use Dolphin. So now you've ripped one card out of your opponent's hand, possibly a hand trap or a starter. And then you go ahead and link these guys here into Isolde, uh, Isolde's effect. Go ahead and grab yourself Cure Freed for a follow-up. Then go ahead and Tribute Connector to summon back Aqua Dolphin. Uh, you then can go ahead and use Isolde's effect to pay the cost of two, which of course we're going to, or no, let's see here, you don't send two with this one. Uh, you send four, and the re I'll explain the reason why you do that. So you go ahead and you send one, two, three, four. Then you summon out Oliver. And right here, if you have more cards in your hand you don't want to pitch, you can actually go ahead and use the Divine Sword in Graveyard, banish these two to add back to pitch off of the Dolphin. But anyway, you'll use Dolphin's effect again, getting rid of another hand, another card in their hand. Uh, we'll go ahead and go right here for Hauk, Hauk effect. We'll go ahead and beam out the Despot. We won't be using it as many times as we just did, though. Convenient, thank goodness. Uh, Despot and the Halk become the big silly plane, Mecha Phantom Beast. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast then will give us three tokens, and then here comes Despot. Uh, now, with the space and everything, we can't really do the normal line of combos that we really want to, so we're going to go ahead and turn the level three token, the, the uh, Despot, and the uh, Aqua Dolphin into... Shooting Riser. A uh, Riser's effect, you then just dump the red layer and becomes level two. Use a Rordon's effect, tribute the two tokens to go ahead and bring out the Coltwing from the deck. Uh, Coltwing's effect, we get two tokens. Here comes Despot right back to the party. And then we're gonna go ahead and start comboing like the normal way that we kinda, that we that we do. The way that the nobles do. Uh, we make Balmug, we turn the Riser and the token here into Roland. Activate Roland's effect. Go ahead and turn Roland and this into Charles. Then what we do is we use Roland's effect to equip to Balmug. Charles then destroys the Balmug. Balmug then brings back Coltwing. Coltwing gives us two tokens, and then here comes Despot. Uh, we then turn these guys right here into Power Tool. We'll then go ahead and use Power Tool's effect. This time we're gonna reveal three Durandal. So here's the three Durandal. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip the Durandal. Use Dirndal's effect. This time we're going to grab ourselves Renaud. Uh, you special out Renaud. This time you're going to grab yourself the DDR that you sent at the very beginning of the combo off of the Azold. You turn Renaud and the power tool into Omega. Go ahead and use Omega's effect to banish and rip a third card from the hand. Now if you want to get greedy, and depending on what other cards you have in your hand, you can potentially rip more if you want to. So currently we would have the ability to rip four cards in the opponent's hand, but I don't like that because that leaves it. Everything is on the back of Charles, and I don't like that at all. So instead, once you rip that one card, you're going to go ahead and banish any warrior, and it has to be the Oliver that you summoned off the Isolde to add back the DDR, to add back the Divine Sword. Darn, my dyslexia is really bad today. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate DDR, pitching this to summon out the Oliver. Oliver and Coltwing, then become a Synchro 8 for Savage, and then we get to equip Tally Fibrax here to it, making it have two counters, and we've hand ripped for three. So now what's going to happen is your opponent is going to be down three cards, your opponent is going to have to fight a Negate and a Pop, and then on top of that Charles is going to soft lock everything with the middle silver lock. So, and this is actually where you get a full, the, like the full benefit with Charles. So before you move to end phase, you equipped Oliver here, and then during the end phase, Charles will grab the Ogier and the Metal Silver from the graveyard. 
So not only do they have to solve Savage and a Charles, but a Charles that cannot be destroyed by card effects, targeted by card effects, and actually Charles is going to make it to where nothing can be targeted, period. So they got to solve all this with that restriction and with playing with only three cards in their hand, which one is for sure going to be negated with Charles, and anything they commit that provides a threat is going to be popped by Charles. Uh, so... Yeah, it's, it's insane. And like I said, you could have gone a step further. You could have, if you depending on what you had in your hand, you could have used that DDR to bring back the Omega and rip them for four cards. But this is the safe route to do it. I believe this is like the mid-range where you're not entirely going to like utilize like all your hand. And then don't forget, guys, Roland's going to grab us the Renaud. So our follow-up is going to be Gear Free and Renaud along with all this. So yeah, that is, uh, that is how you hand rip for three. We're going to go ahead and quickly jump into what happens when you open cult wing all right guys so this is pretty much like if this is to sum it up to make it very simple if you open cult wing you got to get it to the graveyard and i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you happen to not open a tuner extender it's kind of rough i'm not gonna lie it's really kind of rough because you need that tuner extender to summon to use his old here to summon off the uh, dolphin so you really just need to kind of open a tuner extender if not you know it is it's the payoff the game has right this deck is insanely consistent and just one of the major downsides of it is having to open the Colt Wing. However, if you do happen to open like Connector plus uh, Colt Wing, or if you open Dolphin plus Extender, you kind of utilize the same combo. And I'm gonna showcase you guys right now. Uh, you go ahead and normal summon the Connector, summon out Dolphin. I will use Dolphin's effect, pitching the Colt Wing here. Go ahead and make his old. We're not trying to do anything super crazy. His old will grab us the Gear Freed for the follow up. I will go ahead and use Isolde's effect. And if I remember correctly, you send Phoenix Blade and DDR here. And never mind, you don't send DDR, you send Living Fossil. There we go. Just summon out Gimba. Uh, you turn Isolde and Gimba into Hulk, grabs us the Despot. And then, as you guys know, we do the same combo that we always do go up here to Aurorodon. Pretty much Infernoble, Infernoble Air Force right here gives us the uh, three tokens. Here comes this. So now this is where the combo line kind of changes a little bit. And that is simply because of what we had to do. We cannot uh, use the effect to summon out Despot, unless you or not Despot, uh, Coltwing, unless you play two. So now we got to utilize him from the graveyard. So by doing that, you just turn this right here into Balmug. Go ahead and use Aurodon's effect, sack a token to destroy Balmug. And then Balmug will trigger, bringing back Coltwing. Coltwing then gives us two tokens. And then here comes Despot right here. We go ahead and turn this right here into Power Tool. Power Tool's effect, you reveal three, and we're going to go ahead and reveal and get us DDR. You go ahead and overlay over here for Mega Phantom Beast. Uh, you go ahead and detach here to give us two tokens. Here comes back out Despot. You turn these two right here into another Power Tool. This time you're going to grab yourself Durandal. It doesn't really matter which order you grab the equip spells. Uh, because you're not going to utilize them that much. We'll go ahead and use, use Durandal since we have it here to go ahead and grab Renaud though. Here we go ahead and we activate the Living Divine Sword, Banishing Gimba and Connector to add this back. You then can go ahead and go DDR, send the blade, summon out Gimba, Gimba and the token, then become Roland. Uh, you can then special summon the Renaud. This time you can either go either route depending on what you want to do. You can either go and add the DDR, or you can grab the Living Fossil. I guess I was incorrect earlier saying you needed to send this. Uh, you don't have to, but we'll just go ahead and add the uh, Living Fossil here. You go ahead and turn these two here into a Savage. Savage effect will equip the help. There we go. And then you go ahead and you Living Fossil back. Uh, if you want to use DDR, you sure can. In fact, if you didn't send this, you would actually DDR back it anyway. So it doesn't matter. No matter what throughout this combo, even if you happen to open, if you don't open Connector and you open like Dolphin plus Extender along with the Cold Wing, you're going to have the ability to do this just because Balmug is a level four. You go ahead and Synchro here for Charles. And with opening Cold Wing, this is what we're able to produce. Where we're going to be able to produce the Softlock Charles with a Savage. And then of course we have the Draco Sack here to be able to provide disruption for the following turn. There's like tons of follow-up coming in. Uh, during the end phase, Roland will send this, grab herself Renaud, wherever it is. There we go. And then, of course, you know, like, Charles can pick this up and then grab Oliver. So, again, with opening the Brick Gunner deck, you're still able to combo, which is really important. And you're just able to utilize this to your full extension. Uh, if you guys do happen to know a different way on how to do this, please comment down below. Uh, just so like I can try this but yeah guys so this is it for the most part uh, this is the combos that I have to show you there's tons more you can do there's a gear freed combo there's the cult wing with the uh, DDR in the hand there's of course I'm looking at a list right here there's a hand rip for two combo plus an extender 
Uh, it's just, it's crazy. It's, it truly is. The deck is truly phenomenal, phenomenal for sure. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to stay healthy, stay safe. This is Charles and Team at COG signing out. Thank you.